Hi Aquarius, here is a general look at your solar chart for July 2015. There's a quite a practical feel going on this month. Uh, until the 23rd, uh, you could be making yourself useful, you could be dealing with the to-do list, you could be tackling that stack of papers in the corner, you could be involved in maintenance, uh, whether that is with the equipment and objects around you or places, environments or indeed your own health and well-being and exercise and the like. So just getting things better organised would be advisable at this time and also um, make you feel maybe quite satisfied uh, as you look back over what you've achieved. Um, Mars is there and Mars is always going to really light the touch paper uh, on whichever area it's in. So Mars is emphasizing your skills, uh, maybe uh, adding a skill to your skill set or uh, brush blowing the dust off an old one, considering how to manage things better. Could be to do with health and fitness, could be to do with uh, your time, uh, your job, uh, your just your general tasks that you have every day but also you could be more involved at this time with skilled people or co-workers um, they could be the sorts of people that provide a service to you or they could be the sorts of people uh, who need assistance from you um, so that kind of feeling there daily duties uh, methodologies techniques uh, our uh, therapies, remedies are likely to be more highlighted and um, you'll be getting your act together in the process. Until the 9th, Mercury is in quite a fun area, so mentally you could be enjoying playing with ideas, maybe bouncing ideas off a romantic partner or somebody who you can feel spontaneous and unselfconscious with. Um, and uh, you have the energy, this 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 kind of playful, innovative energy around up until the ninth, and then, uh, and also bouncing ideas around, or just having interactions with younger people or young people, um, as well, children, and uh, this is a good time for actually promoting something if you if you need to be doing that. And then between the 9th and the 24th, uh, Mercury will be focusing your mind on the same practical side of life as the Sun and Mars are doing. And your discussions, your correspondence could be more revolving around um, the mechanics of things and also analysing stuff as well, figuring it out. Um, and practical advice will be helpful to you, but also you may, may be the giver of the practical advice as well. So we can sort of turn that around both ways. Now, your ruling planet is still uh, in this good connection with Jupiter. Um, really just for the first week, it's been going on all through uh, June. And this is could be a light bulb moment for you. It could be something quite quick, quite sudden, which is a bit of a game changer and it looks really nice. Um, so again, be open to unusual environments or um, mixing uh, with others who are unconventional or indeed just in some way push the envelope of daily life. So maybe you're just going somewhere different or maybe you are learning something which is a little bit unusual or perhaps taking what you know and what you are familiar with and applying it in a different kind of uh, unusual sort of a way for you. Um, and then uh, we also have, we got things going on with uh, your ruling planet and the sun opposing the sun between the 11th and the 14th. That's that's the strongest bit in the center of, of, of the aspect, uh, that those dates there. So that could be slightly tenser time for us all and when we should be flexible and bend, you know, and but just expect the unexpected there. Uh, and uh, maybe if things start to accelerate and you feel as though uh, things are going um, too fast, then you just need to, to just to pull back on the reins a little bit. And then, of course, we've got the uh, Sun and Pluto going over each other's degree between the 5th and the 7th. That won't be a major um a major instance for you just from your sun sign chart but it could be on your natal sign chart 
and then um, so if you happen to know that you can look it up <laughs> and then we've got um, Saturn we've got things going on with Saturn because Saturn has moved back into Scorpio now implicating the other fixed signs and your sign Aquarius is a fixed sign so uh, I would say from the 10th uh, just watch you you're having to you're having to be a bit more self-reliant. So if, if, if uh, as Saturn and Venus cross each other's degrees there, um, you, if you've been um, used to support or used to having access um, in a relationship, maybe it will get temp temporarily pinched off or it will be squeezed um, a little bit. Uh, and then you've just got to be more self-reliant, uh, maybe not take it personally. That could be one of the ways this works out. Um, it could work out in another kind of way where uh, um, you are um, doing business with someone or there is a, um, um, a more serious vibe around relationships. You know, there's more riding on this relationship so if it's like a professional type relationship but it can be in your personal life as well so um that, that that's the kind of feeling around that but also with money and with joint resources there there also is 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 um uh, an energy which means that you might not feel as secure as before so you've just got to um prepare for that if you know what that might be about um, keep a persevering attitude, uh, but uh, maybe maybe pull in your belt a little bit. And then the next Saturn transit goes across uh, Jupiter. Both of these, by the way, <clears throat> Venus and Jupiter are in your opposite sign, which is a really, really nice transit for you. But just whenever Saturn comes to call, it does rather kind of narrow the options a bit or means that we have to work within tighter parameters or push against more resistance in some way. So um, this one is uh, something that you embarked upon about seven years ago, possibly is now coming up to be tested. So if you're feeling something has its roots in the past and isn't allowing you to, to grow and develop in the way that you'd like, then maybe it's time to rethink aspects of it or even to let the thing go completely because I'm saying that because the next time this transit comes around which will be in seven years from now um, it could be a lot more tricky to deal with um, and uh, if it's not rooted in the past then it might just mean that you feel or you don't see that it's rooted in the past because it just might be a consequence of a certain um, decision or a uh, um, a set of circumstances anyway that, that, that had their roots uh, that far in the past but if you don't see it as that then it, th this one might just mean that you feel as though there's um, again this squeezing on opportunities for expansion um, in your partnership area or close relationship area um, and that can be personal or professional uh, or with um, resources uh, uh, or, or it could be um, it could be resources, yeah, it could be resources, but which is which is tied up somehow or other with the relationship. So however, uh, whatever it is, just take things step by step for this um, quite relatively brief transit. This particular stage of it, Saturn going over Jupiter from the 21st, goes on in well into August. Now, the transits themselves, um, the Venus one and the Jupiter one, the positioning of those two is is really good that it's in your opposite sign. So yes, it can be it can feel like um, uh, you are uh, maybe in involved uh, more, but Venus is very strong in her favorite place where affairs of the heart are concerned, but also one to one reciprocal reciprocal arrangement or 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 working one to one in a business sort of way. Um, negotiations, that kind of thing as well. And you and someone could be, could have been feeling a closer rapport, definitely. Uh, and some of you could even be tying the knot. Uh, Venus is in there for a very, very long time, actually, in there until October, but definitely allowing you and another to enjoy each other's company. And because Jupiter is in there as well, that Jupiter's due to come out before Venus, Jupiter's coming out in August, 
then um, that might mean that it's somebody who is really e expanding your mind because they're different and what they know is different culturally they can introduce you to lots of new things um, uh, Jupiter being the planet to do with uh, foreign lands, um, what, what we call, you know, it's sort of like an alien energy. <laughs> it could be, who knows, alien as well, um, what, what we call alien. Um, but just those with a very different take on things, a very different background, whether you agree or not agree, it definitely does enlarge your, your, your understanding of the world. And uh, so bo both of those transits are good, but just between the, well, really from the 10th um, on into August, there is a slight, there, there, there is a slightly heavier energy. So that just means that there's more responsibility involved or there's more pressure there. But it doesn't mean to say that it's dramatically pressured. It might not be the, 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 the significant relationship. It might be another relationship. OK, and, you, and you've got to kind of um, uh, juggle more balls or, or schedule things because you've got a, t a t tighter, tighter sort of um, uh, tighter sort of set of choices or, or, or a smaller set of choices. A tighter schedule. Um, so that's the kind of feeling of it. But um, you'll, you'll get that. And then um, Saturn. Um, Saturn is uh, at, once again at the top of your, your solar chart, Aquarius, uh, having retrograde back into there and will be there until September. And this is a more challenging position, but it's the position which can be very productive if you're willing to put the work in. And uh, particularly for you very late uh, Aquarians born from the 16th of February onwards or with, for, or with if it's Aquarius rising, 27 degrees rising. So um, in slow stages, you are um, trying to improve things with your worldly image, maybe some of you, um, with authority figures, um, having to sort of sum up more obstacles there, people in a position to help you who've got more power in this world or higher status, or um, they just have something that you aspire to. It might be like that, or it might not be. It might be just your general trajectory and then you just run into a bit of a, um, a bumpier piece of road which just means that you're, you've got to be more careful as you go forward and not take your eye off the ball. You can't just kind of cruise, you know, and look at the scenery. <laughs> um, you know, it might, it might feel like that. It, it, and it, you may feel you are not doing the kind of work or you're not known for the kinds of things, or you haven't got the reputation that you would prefer. So you're cultivating things there. You're cultivating those in authority um, uh, uh, because uh, Saturn loves to build new structures. Um, and if there is something uh, which you have been doing, um, but which has had maybe hidden cracks um, in the in, in, in the stonework, as it were. This Saturn transit is actually going to just bring those out. It's not going to be that the Saturn Saturn's presence there is going to start cracking everything up. It just means that, um, uh, or, or going to start kind of breaking everything up. It, it means that the, the, those cracks, those weak points were already there and Saturn's energy will just be enough to bring them out. And if you look back, if you're old enough, look back either... 14 years or seven years even you might see another time you get you get a clue as to um, what is kind of unfolding at the moment and uh, what what happened then what it felt like and what you went on to next Jupiter uh, is opening the way to grow through close personal relationships with people who are very unlike you and your background or maybe your um, your nationality or whatever it is. You Aquarians born the 9th to the 19th of February with 20 to 29 degrees rising. I feel that energy the most uh, this month. And that's it for July. If you know your rising sign or your moon sign, listen to those. And also, um, if you're interested, all of this stuff is written up on my website there, free for all to see. And um, that's on dianagarland.com. And I'll see you the next time.